Angies. Welcome to the Junior High. It's Mr. Malzoff, the principal here, and I'm going to take a little bit of time today and go through some of the changes we've made in the school and let the sixth graders have a look through the school so they know where they're going to be heading on Monday when we start our first day of school on August 31st. First thing will be where you're going to get dropped off. If you ride the bus, you'll be dropped off at the main entrance on Martin Street. If you are someone that gets dropped off by your parents or walks to school, we're going to ask that you enter through the opposite side of the building on Warren Street, and we'll take a look at that later, later in the video. When you pull up to school, you'll notice that there are flying G's on the ground, and those are spaced at every six feet, so if you're waiting in line, we ask that you stand on one of the markers before you enter the building. It might take a little longer to get inside this year because we've got temperature scanners that everyone has to go through. I'm going to put my mask on and we're going to head inside so we can see the inside changes we've made. Alright, so we have temperature scanners installed at both entrances that you could be using. With the temperature scanner, there's a yellow box up at the top that we need you to kind of look at when you walk through and that will scan your temperature so that we know that you do not have a fever and that you're able to come into school. So all you have to do is walk through kind of slowly and it'll make that noise and you know your temperature's been taken. It'll then show your temperature at the top and we'll know that you are healthy to come to school. The next thing we're going to look at are some lines we've added into the hallways. All right, in the hallway, we have added blue lines on both sides of the hallway. Those lines serve two purposes. One, it gives a walking path so that if you are stopped at your locker, no one will be too close to you. The other thing it does, we've got them spaced out six feet. So if there's two people coming from both directions in the hallway, you can make sure you're walking over near the blue line and that will keep you separated safely from anyone else in the hallway. We're gonna head down the hall and we will take a look at the back entrance and see where students will be coming in from the other side of the building. All right, so at the back entrance by the parking lot on Warren Street, you can see we've got flying G markers for you to wait out here as well. And you will come in through door number 14. That'll be the entrance that has the temperature scanner in it. So come on inside. All right, we've got another temperature scanner back here. We'll also have staff members at both scanners helping students. On the first day of school, we're also going to have lots of staff in the hallway. They're going to be able to help students find their advisory classes. Because remember, this year, you're going to go to your advisory class when you get to school. That is where breakfast will be served, and that's where you're going to wait until the day starts at 8.25. All right, so with the schedule this year at the junior high, you are not going to have passing time like you have in the past when you're able to stop at your locker and use the restroom between classes. So this year, when you're in your classroom, you will let your teacher know that you need to use the restroom and they'll give you permission to go at a time that's, a, at a time that's appropriate. When you come to the bathroom, there'll be a few things you'll notice. There are some social distancing stickers on the ground. There's one outside of each bathroom and there's one inside each bathroom as well. So as you come into the bathroom, if the bathroom is empty, it's okay for you to go in there. If there's already people at all of the spaces, whether they be stalls or urinals in the boys' bathrooms, you're going to wait here on the social distancing mark and, until there's space available. When there's space available, go ahead and take care of what you need to take care of in the bathroom. Another thing we're doing this year is we've ordered acrylic dividers that will be used in all the classrooms and all the desks. So the students will have a barrier to keep them protected, but they'll also be able to see everything going on in the room. Just another one of the things we planned. All right, so for our sixth grade students, you probably, unless you've been here for sport, sporting events or signups for soccer or anything like that, you might not be too familiar with the building. In the junior high, the sixth grade classes are all in the sixth grade wing, which is right back here by the entrance at door number 14. So come on back and we'll take a look at your classrooms. All right, so back here, there are four classrooms that our sixth graders could have for advisory. If you have Mrs. Dolly for your advisory class, you're going to come right inside the door to the door on the left, room number 117, and it says Mrs. Dolly right above her door. If you have Mr. Rail, you're going to come kitty corner to Mrs. Dolly. 
He's in room 124, which is Kitty Corner for Mrs. Dolly. Mrs. Height's home room is back here as well. So if you have Mrs. Height for advisory, then you will come to the end of the hall after you've turned in the sixth grade wing. It's room number 118. The last room that we're using for an advisory class this year is Mr. Daniels' classroom. And Mr. Daniels is in room 119. So sixth graders, I know you're probably a little anxious about starting in a new building and not having been in here to get a tour. Don't worry though. This year, one of the things that's different is you will only be in one classroom for almost your entire day. Anytime you leave this room, there will be a teacher taking you where you need to go. So in the first couple weeks of school, you'll get really familiar with the building and you'll know where everything is. Also, you're probably worried about lockers and whether you're going to be able to open your locker for the start of the school year. On the first day, sixth graders are going to take all of their belongings to their advisory classroom and throughout the day, the teachers will work with you on your lockers. So don't worry about any of that. It's going to be a very different year, but it's going to be a great year. So I look forward to seeing you all with your masks on and ready to start a great 2020 school year. Hi, junior high students. My name is Miss Janice and I'm going to be the social worker here this year at the junior high. Some of you may remember me from the elementary school. I'm very excited to see all of you again. Um, this is where my room will be, which is um, right by the cafeteria. And sixth graders coming in, don't worry because I'm new to the school this year and we're gonna get through this together. So I can't wait to see all of you and have a great weekend. Bye. Welcome back Flying G families. My name is Mrs. Hill and I'm the instructional coach at the junior high. You will see me outside, you will see me in the halls, you will see me in and out of your classes daily. I will have my mask on just as you will have your mask on. Um, know that behind my mask you will have a smiling face and know that I'm always happy to help you. If you have a question, please reach out. I'm excited to start this unique year. Enjoy your final days with your family and I will see you Monday.